<clears throat> okay, Jack, I see a lot of good things. There's one little thing that I would, would recommend that you work on. Really good rock into hip load. Like that a lot. Good job moving level and getting off your backside. Like you've got some good early movements there. As I was watching your swings, it's just as we have these good moves here, we just need to finish it and get into the ground before we start to open up. You can see as you're getting into toe touch, which is there, right? How, and I didn't put up a, a, a sample because, you know, we showed this, this stuff pretty, pretty good. Um, those examples of those three major leaguers we looked at today. But as we're getting into toe touch, right? Like, this is good, right? Like, you've gotten off of your backside real good, right? But what I would like to see you doing is, um, like we were showing those guys today, let's still be closed off here and not have that weight that's just started to come forward a little bit. Um, you can even see, as you watch your hands, see how we're starting to come forward before we're getting to toe touch. We're just starting to swing a little bit too soon. Whereas when we're at toe touch, like we showed those major leaguers today, you know, we, we, we still want to be back. Um, and I think that if you work on, you know, getting into the ground and then rotating, like you can see again how much weight you've gotten off of your back leg, that's good. But because we've got this, this inefficient movement here, as you watch, and I dot your front hip, as you're getting heel down, you can see your hip is still coming forward and it doesn't need to. You've already gotten enough off of your backside. By the time you get your heel into the ground, I would love to see you just be able to rotate, heel down and rotate from there instead of getting that little hip slide forward. Now, our end result, as you can see, we don't quite get to extension. We get a little bit more of an around action in the four swings that I was watching. Good job releasing your backside. And I could tell today you're really working on staying in tight. You can really see how you pull your hands through real well there. Let's take what we have, which is a good movement. Load and go. It's a good movement, right? But let's get into the ground before we start to come forward. And you can see how we're just starting to open up just a little bit, kind of get a little bit of weight here on our front leg. And we're starting to set ourselves so that our direction will be a little bit more around. So a lot to build off of here. Good move, good move get into the ground with your toe before we start to get that little bit of opening up and rotation forward. And that's going to help out too because again, the way that you have all this weight off of your back leg, you can just slam this sucker down and go from there and take out, oops, bad drawing, and take out that little hip slide forward. There's always going to be some as our heel goes down. But I just think that you get a little bit too much of that given how much you've gotten your weight off of your back leg ahead of time. So, in summation, keep that, that's great. Keep that, that's great. Let's work on toe into the ground before we get that motion right there. Okay?